In the intricate tapestry of human relationships, there are times when one party realizes that they have taken more than they have given. This is the situation your significant other finds themselves in. They have come to the painful realization that they have been drawing heavily from the well of your relationship, leaving it nearly depleted. They now understand that the balance of effort was skewed, with you being the one who was consistently striving to elevate the relationship to the next level. This realization has brought them a great deal of remorse. They are beginning to comprehend the extent of the damages they have caused. They are seeing, perhaps for the first time, how their actions and inactions have affected you. They are coming to terms with the fact that they were unfair to you, that they took your efforts for granted, and that they did not reciprocate your dedication to the relationship. This understanding has filled them with profound sadness. They are regretting their past actions and are feeling the weight of their mistakes. One of the most significant realizations they have had is about the separation between the two of you. They know that it has been an unbearable experience for both of you. However, they also understand that they needed this time alone. They needed to step back from the relationship to work on themselves individually. They needed to address their personal issues, to grow as a person, and to understand what they truly want from a relationship. Now, they find themselves yearning to meet you. They want to sit down with you, look into your eyes, and confess their feelings. They have been in love with you for a very long time, but they have struggled to express it. They have grappled with their emotions, wrestling with their fear and their desire to be open with you. They have been longing to tell you about their love, but they have been held back by their lack of courage. They want to apologize to you. They want to say sorry for the times they blocked you out, for the times they ignored you, and for the times they made you feel unimportant. They understand now how hurtful their actions were, and they want to make amends. They also want to express something that they have kept hidden for a long time. They want to tell you that they never showed you their real love. They had issues that they were dealing with, issues that prevented them from fully opening up to you. They were unable to express their love because they were struggling with their own problems. Now, they are feeling the weight of their actions. They are feeling the regret, the guilt, and the longing. They are seeking a way to make amends, to rectify their mistakes, and to show you that they have changed. They want to rebuild the relationship, to restore the balance, and to give you the love that you deserve. They are ready to put in the effort, to strive to take the relationship to the next level, and to show you their real love. They are ready to face their fears, to gather their courage, and to express their feelings. They are ready to meet you, to apologize to you, and to confess their love for you. They are ready to make things right. It's a feeling of frustration that engulfs me when we don't communicate. It's as if we're both stuck in a silent standoff, each waiting for the other to break the silence and initiate the conversation. This lack of communication creates a void, a chasm that seems to widen with each passing day. It's a void that I desperately try to fill by clinging on to the virtual fragments of your life that you share on social media. Every day, I find myself drawn to your social media profiles, hoping to find a new post, a new photo, or even a simple status update. It's as if these digital breadcrumbs are my only connection to you, my only way of knowing what's going on in your life. I constantly check to see if you're online, hoping that maybe, just maybe, you'll reach out and bridge the gap that has formed between us. However, lately, it seems like you're not as invested in these digital interactions as you used to be. It feels as if you're pulling away, retreating into your own world. It's as if your content in your own little universe, detached from the digital realm that once connected us. This change in your behavior, this apparent disinterest in our online interactions, is disconcerting. It leaves me feeling lost and confused, unsure of where I stand in your life. In my heart, I harbor a fear, a fear of you moving on and finding someone else. I feel a sense of ownership over you, a belief that you are mine. Despite the distance that has grown between us, I hold on to the belief that you still care for me. I cling on to the memories of our past, 
the times when things were different, when our connection was stronger. Things have changed, and I find myself struggling to adapt to this new environment. The world around me doesn't feel as comfortable as it used to be. Amidst this uncertainty, the only thing that brings me comfort is you. You are my constant, my anchor in this ever-changing world. I've noticed a change in you, a sign of maturity that wasn't there before. Your energy is different, it's calm and relaxed. It's as if you've found a sense of peace within yourself, a tranquility that radiates from you. Unlike before, when you were eager for the physical manifestation of our union, you now seem content with the spiritual connection that binds us. This time, however, it's different. This time, I find myself yearning for more. I yearn for our union, for the physical manifestation of our connection. I yearn for the comfort of your presence, for the reassurance of your touch. I yearn for the certainty that comes with being together, with knowing that we belong to each other. Despite the changes, despite the distance, my heart yearns for you. And so, I wait, hoping that one day, you'll reach out and bridge the gap that has formed between us. In the solitude of today, your partner finds themselves in a state of melancholy, their mind clouded with thoughts and their heart heavy with emotions. They are unable to focus on the world around them, their thoughts consumed by the void that your absence has left in their life. The usual hustle and bustle of life seems meaningless without your presence, and they find themselves yearning for your company, contemplating ways to bridge the distance that separates you both. Your partner wants you to know that despite the physical distance, their love for you remains as strong as ever. It's as if their heart has pledged an unwavering allegiance to you, a promise that holds firm no matter where they are. Their love for you is not a fleeting emotion but a constant, a beacon that guides them through the darkest nights and the stormiest seas. The thought of reconciliation is not just a fleeting idea but a persistent thought that occupies their mind. They are waiting, biding their time for the perfect moment when they can take a step forward, a step that could potentially change the dynamics between you both. They are aware that timing is crucial, and they don't want to rush things, but they also don't want to miss the opportunity when it presents itself. Your partner is tired of running, running from their feelings, running from the truth that they have been trying to evade. They are exhausted from the constant battle within themselves, the struggle between their heart and mind. They have come to realize that turning their back on you would mean turning their back on their happiness. They understand that they can never truly be happy if they continue to deny their feelings for you. They have come to the realization that there is a void in their heart, a void that only you can fill. It's as if you are the missing piece of their puzzle, the one that completes them, the one that makes them whole. They have tried to fill this void with other things, but nothing seems to fit. It's like a lock that only has one key, and you are that key. Your partner wants you to know that you hold the key to their heart. Your presence in their life brings them a sense of peace and tranquility that they have not found elsewhere. When they are with you, their problems seem insignificant, their worries fade away, and they find themselves in a state of serenity. Your presence brings a smile to their heart, a joy that radiates from within. It's as if their soul finds satisfaction in your company, a satisfaction that is deep and profound. Your partner wants you to know that their feelings for you are genuine and deep. They are hopeful for a future where they can be with you, where they can share their life with you. They are waiting for the right moment to express their feelings, to let you know how much you mean to them. They want you to know that no matter where they are, their heart will always belong to you. They are hopeful for a future where they can once again experience the joy and satisfaction that your presence brings to their life. In the quiet solitude of my surroundings, I find myself seated, enveloped in a silence that is both comforting and unsettling. It's a peculiar sensation, one that is difficult to articulate. It's as if your presence permeates the air around me, invisible yet palpable. I can sense you so close to me, as if you're just a breath away. Yet, when I reach out, my hands grasp nothing but empty space. There is no physical manifestation of you in my world, no tangible evidence of your existence. 
Yet, I feel you in every fiber of my being, in every moment of my existence. You are a constant in my life, a persistent reminder in everything I do. Each action, each thought, each moment is tinged with the essence of you. It's as if you've become an integral part of my existence, a vital component of my reality. And yet, you remain elusive, a phantom presence that is felt but not seen. My dreams have become a sanctuary, a realm where I can feel your presence more acutely. I find myself waking up from dreams filled with you, yearning for just a few more moments of sleep. I long to hold on to the ethereal feeling of you, to bask in the warmth of your presence in my dream world. It's a bittersweet experience, one that leaves me yearning for more. These past few days, your absence has been particularly poignant. I've been missing you intensely, a longing that seems to permeate every aspect of my life. This yearning has led me to seek solace in sleep, a refuge from the harsh reality of your absence. Yet, even in sleep, I am not spared from the emptiness that your absence brings. I often wake up feeling sad, empty, and lost, a testament to the profound impact you've had on my life. I find myself questioning your feelings for me. In the past, whenever I felt low, you would always reach out, your words a soothing balm to my troubled soul. You would reassure me of your presence, of your unwavering support. But now, your silence is deafening. It echoes in the emptiness, a stark reminder of the distance that has come between us. This distance, both physical and emotional, is driving me to the brink of insanity. Trust me, love, I am fully aware of the deep connection that binds our souls. I can feel it, a powerful force that transcends the confines of our physical existence. I admit, I was running from it before. I was afraid, unprepared to face the intensity of our connection. But now, I feel a change within me. I feel ready to face it, to embrace it. The absence of your physical presence in my world has been a challenging experience. It has tested my strength, my resilience, and my understanding of love. Yet, despite the challenges, I remain steadfast in my belief in our connection. I am ready to face whatever comes our way, fortified by the strength of our bond and the depth of my feelings for you. I am ready to face it all, 